Hello everyone. Today I want us to look at how we could use PLC to program a domestic heating system. This is the system here as you can see. <clears throat> Uh, this is the uh, complex um, domestic domestic heating system, Dom domestic central heating system that uh, I want us to look at and how we can program it. We have a boiler here. The boiler has a sensor, and then we have uh, radiators here, and we have a hot water tank. Now, these radiators are driven by this pump here. M1 and the hot water tank is also uh, supplied by the um, motorized pump M2 here. Now, if we go to the radiators here, the radiators here have a sensor here called room temperature sensor. So, this room temperature sensor. What it does is that it senses the room temperature and if the room temperature is so low then it will communicate with this uh, motor M1 here. This motor M1 will then start drawing water from the hot, sorry, from the boiler and circulate it through the radiators and back to the boiler. Now let's go to the hot water tank. It also has another, um, it has a, t a sensor here that is hot water tank temperature sensor. What it does is that if the temperature in the, if, if the temperature of the water in the tank is so low or it's up to the preset temperature, that will also com um, communicate with the motorized pump M2 that will start drawing water from the boiler and circulate it through these uh, coils here to warm up the water in the radiator and this will go on for some time and the system will stop working what the whole thing what the whole thing is here it it's like this the boiler Tem temperature sensor communicates with both the motor M1 and M2. What it does is that it will only allow the motor M1 and M2 to draw water from the boiler only when the temperature of the water in the boiler is high enough. So when it's high enough, then this sensor would say, okay, this temperature here is high enough now pump one pump two if you need water you can start drawing water from the boiler and it will do so so what we can say here is that for motor m1 to operate we need sensor we need this sensor the room temperature sensor and the boiler sensor for motor m1 to operate to draw water through the radiators. Now let's come to motor M2. That also we need boiler temperature sensor and the hot water tank temperature sensor to allow this motorized pump M2 to circulate water through the hot water tank to raise the temperature of the uh, water in the tank that supplies water to the uh, taps in the house so what we are going to do is that we are going to write a program for this and just like i've said now if we look at um what is said here it says that the, the entire system is to be controlled by a clock so that it only operates for certain hours of the day so this system will work only for certain hours of the day so for example let's use 24 hour uh, clock and imagine that the mode sorry the, the system will stay shut for or closed down for 
tw 20 hours and it works for only four hours so this is how the system is going to be programmed so at any time if you switch the baller on it's not going to work only when the predetermined time is what reached the time that it's been set for it to work is switched. otherwise even if the switch is on the, the boiler isn't going to work so that is what we are going to do now if we look at this boiler system here it has three inputs that is this temperature room the room the, um, excuse me room temperature sensor I will call it sensor one um, hot water tank temperature I will call it sensor two and then the boiler temperature uh, sensor I will call it sensor three how many outputs do we have here we have three outputs motor M1 motor M2 and the boiler itself the heating coils in the boiler itself so we have three outputs and three inputs but in the program I would add one input that is the start switch that is the manual start switch to make it four inputs and then I would also like to add one more output that is an internal relay to make the outputs for now let's look at this here I have the um, I have the input and then the output here so the inputs I have the start switch which is uh, a tag of uh, I 0, 0 and then I have temperature radiator sensor 1 hot water tank sensor 2 and let me just make this one here uh, as sensor 3 uh, the boiler temperature as sensor 3 now let's look at um, the outputs I have an output here uh, that is internal relay I only brought this internal relay to start the whole uh, program to start the entire system that is the boiler and then I have the boiler I have the uh, motor here that is uh, the pump that pumps the hot uh, water to the radiator and then I have the uh, hot water pump also here so <clears throat> what <clears throat> we are going to do is we are going to um, put this into a PLC program here I have the PLC already um, opened here and uh, I've come to if you see my case I'm on the PLC tax here so what I'm going to do is I will just click on what normally you do is that when you click on the PLC tax it opens um, up other um, systems here for you so under the tree here I have add new tax default tax but I've added a new tag here and I've named it as uh, uh, domestic heating so I will double click on that one here I will double click on this and once I double click on it it opens here and you see the name here domestic heating here so what I'm going to do here is what I'm going to do here <coughs> So I'm going to put these names here. So the start switch here, the start switch, and then um, let me give radiator, radiator sensor. And you know, I'm not doing anything here you see the address type as I put here uh, actually this should be address type here that one here should be address the address type I'm leaving it as input I the I the stand for input so I 0, .0 .0, and it goes on to uh, it goes on to I think uh, 7 okay because it's eight bits here or one byte for this system here and then the data type is boolean it's boolean because the switch either will be on or off okay 
the same as the raw data sensor. So I'm going to go on to the uh, water tank sensor here. <coughs> And that's boolean as well and then uh, boiler sensor here and that is also boolean now let's go on to uh, the outputs here so I have an internal relay here so what I'm going to do is um, that is going to be an output so I'll put internal relay I'll just I would name it as such and that one here I'm going to it's also a boolean but I'm changing the address type to um, changing the address type to Q Q is for output okay and it's start from zero so zero dot zero and I will click OK here so I have Q zero dot zero for my output and then I'll go on to the next one uh, which one is that boiler okay so boiler is Q0.1 and then um, let me see radiator pump radiator pump and that is q0.2 and water pump that is q0.3 <clears throat> so i have given all the uh, names here all the uh, inputs and then uh, the outputs here what it what i've not added is the timers we would need two timers here to control the system I've not added the two timers when we start writing the, when we start um, writing the program I will add the two timers so this is part one of what we're supposed to do please watch the part two and see how we finish the entire program thank you very much for watching